here we have a TAC or TEAK X10R reel to reel tape recorder. Does both 7 inch and 10 half inch reels. Dual captain drive, bi directional record. So it's basically got four heads. You got two record and two playback. So you can record in either direction without having to flip the tape over. Auto reverse, continuous play, repeat. Come down here, get some of the controls. You got Q. Let's raise those up. Pitch control. Pull it out, adjust it. Push it in, it's disabled. Auto reverse. You know, one side and it'll switch off. Play both sides, then turn off. Do that and I'll just play the same tape on a loop continuously. Speed low and high. High speed is seven and a half inches per second, lowest three and three quarters, which is what eight tracks are at. Small or large size for your reel. Power button. Rewind. Play backward, stop, play forward, press forward, pause, record, mute, record. To activate record, you press the record button in for record mode. This will flash red, let you know it's in standby mode. Then you'd press and hold that, then hit the play button, and then it will record. The record bias, record equalizer, monitor, source, or tape. The best thing about having a separate record and playback head is you can monitor the tape as it's recording. So you can make fine, fine tune your adjustments while it's recording. Output, line, microphone. Got your counter plus timer. So dual captions, you got captain here, captain here. View meters on the back of it. If I can rotate it. You have the controls on the back, remote control, DBX unit control signal, output, line in, DBX unit, those are jumped. Model X10R, serial number 6427, 50, 60 hertz, 88 watts, 100 to 240 volts AC. Made in Japan. These are here so it can be laid on its side. That's why it's recessed. So you can lay it on its back. Some people swear that you should only run these things on their back. I put them up like this because it's easier, you know, for space saving. And the way you thread it comes down here. These are your switches. Up there, in between this little peg here, through here. I believe it goes under here and then up this. So you can go up this and then that way. Either way it runs. So I will thread it. And we will play something. Okay, that's all you get because of Susan. See, he's playing in reverse right now. So it's playing the B side. See, it's right there, up there. Between that and up there. So then to play the other side, you hit stop. Then you hit this button and it would play. I'll demonstrate that in a second. See the counter is counting backwards because it's playing the other side right now. Okay, that side finished. Now we're going to try and play the other side without switching it over. So I want you to listen to the sound this thing will make when I press the button to switch it into the opposite direction. Down so it doesn't get flagged. This side is Rammstein, the other side was Social Distortion. So these sides are about 45 minutes. Now to make it auto-reverse, like auto-switch, without pressing these buttons, stop it. What you do is, uh, similar to how an 8-track tape, well, similar to how an 8-track player knows how to change tracks, there'd be like, I think, a 
two or three inch length of foil tape at the end of the tape. And when it gets to the sensor on here, it creates like electrical circuit or tells the computer, okay, you've reached the end of the tape, switch directions. And then if this switch is turned on, either either play both sides at once or continue this play, then when it hits that tip when it hits that foil, it'll switch direction, play the other side of the tape. When it hits the foil on the other other end, again it'll reverse back and forth until you see the stop it or whatever. I don't have the, t the foil on here, I'm not going to mess with it right now. Certain machines are fussier, like how long, some people say like you can get with a couple of inches, some people say you need to have like a four inch strip of foil for it to properly sense for whatever reason. You know, different machines, different tolerances. Obviously this is a high end model because it's got four heads. You know, it can bi-directional record, it can record in both directions without having to take the reel off and flip it. So, that's really pretty much it on this thing. It's all mechanical. If I turn the power off, well normally, if it's in reverse direction and I turn the power off, it will default back to the normal play position. But because it's uh, already set up for the default position, it won't do it. So it's, it automatically defaults back to a standard position. So I play it again. So you can't play too much because of Susan. You know, can't have music on YouTube. No, no, no. They go, 10 seconds copyright. How is 10 seconds copyright infringement? You gotta play music to demonstrate the damn thing. Anyway, this is the correct thread path. I looked, I looked it up just to verify. Make sure it's between those two little pins. Because when these drop down, then the machine shuts off knowing it's at the end of the tape. So, I thought erasing anything. So press the record mode. Now you see that's flashing, lets you know it's, it's in standby. Then the record, I press and hold that and hit play. And then it's recording. That way you can't accidentally erase over the tape. Yeah, record bias, record equalizer. I didn't use those. Different machines are also fussier as far as uh, like sound level. You want to try and get it somewhere in the middle. You don't really want to go into the red or you oversaturate it. So somewhere in the middle is where you want your levels. So that's really it.